Hi guys, my name is Erwin. And I'm Martin. And today we're gonna make lumpia everything. Literally, we're gonna make everything into lumpia yeah. and lumpia into everything. First, Martin is going to show us how to make a lumpia wrapper. Take it away, Martin. To make the lumpia wrapper, just combine all of your dry ingredients followed by the wet ingredients. Right, form it into one uniform dough, let it rest for at least an hour, and then to cook your lumpia wrapper, just smear it all over your pan over medium heat, and once the wrapper releases from the pan, you're good to go. Now that we have our wrappers ready, all we gotta do is start making the filling. So uh, we've got a couple burners here. None of this, I would say, is a recipe mm -hmm. because I'm not trying to teach anyone anything today. What we're doing is we're just gonna try doing different things and see what works and what doesn't work. First thing we're gonna do is just a very simple, traditional uh, lumpiang toge. Um, sweet potatoes in a pan with some carrots. Render that down. These are matchsticks, julienne and then we're gonna add some toge to it after. Um, this is probably one of my favorite fillings for lumpia. Probably one of the most classical ones that's absolutely delicious when dipped in. Supa. Supa. Exactly. Um, I like the really thick fat ones. Short and fat, that's what they say. <laughs> While I'm doing this, Martin is gonna work on a flan. He's gonna make that thick flan pastry cream. That's gonna get stuffed into the lumpia and then that's gonna get deep fried. Martin and I are like, Oil and vinegar. We're two very different people that don't like working together, but sometimes we have to work together. May I ask him what Hey, I'm the oil, you're the vinegar. We have here a cup of milk that we will scald, not really bring to a boil, but boiled. Now this is still fine, because you can actually notice the difference between the taste of scalded milk and burnt milk. Sugar goes in the milk? Yes, sir. Mix it until it dissolves, and while that's happening... <laughs> there comes Southern Martin again! <laughs> Sweet potatoes and carrots are nice and tender. When you're making lumpiang toge or lumpia with vegetables, you don't want to actually cook them all the way through because you're still going to be deep frying them for 5 to 10 minutes. You still want them to be kind of crunchy so that they get really moist together at the same time inside the lumpia while being confit by the oil. It's absolutely delicious, and that's what makes it really good. In goes the toge. Moist. That's the key word that they got. That's all you got from it. <laughs> and then I have here a piece of egg. I'm gonna mix it in with some flour or cornstarch. All right, I'm done with mine. Right, off. I'm gonna cool this down. Okay. Turn on the heat again over super low. This is this technique is called tempering. So what we want to happen here is to like equalize the temperature of the eggs with the liquid mixture. If I just put the eggs in, it's gonna be sweet. Scrambled eggs. All right, so you can touch the sides of the bowl to see if the temp's correct. Slowly add back your egg mixture. All right, so just mix, mix, mix until it boils. So we want this to be thick enough to be able to hold its shape, but at the same time still be creamy and, you know, okay. All right. That's right. <laughs> Why are you looking at me for approval? Oh. Jollibee has a tuna pie that's really popular, so we wanted to make a tuna cheese lumpia because we think it'd be really good. Uh, canned tuna, remove the oil. Uh, we're gonna add maybe a little bit of mayonnaise to bind it. Yes, and then we're gonna add some quick melt cheese with it. Should be good. Medyo thick na yung mixture natin. It's getting thicker and thicker by the sea can. Yeah, when you see big bubbles pop like this, that means you're Pastry cream is done. Give that, give it, like a toothpaste. Toothpaste thicker. Wait, we still need that, we still need that. All right, so. <laughs> so sure, don't listen to I said we still need that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was busy. Uh, right. Next, we're gonna try, so this is tuna, cheese, frozen durian. Lumpia, why not? Ube cheese, which we've done already before. We've posted pictures of that on Facebook. But you should actually try to taste it. Um, and then the last one we're gonna do, we thought it'd be interesting to do tuyo and rice. I've never actually seen rice in Lumpia. I've seen noodles in Lumpia. 
Same. But I don't know if anyone's tried it with rice, so let's see. We do the mistakes for you. If it works, then imagine the possibilities of what you could stuff lumpia with. <laughs> okay, Martin's gonna show us how to make the first one using the vegetable mix. All right, just put around three tablespoons of your filling. Again, just secure the sides first. And then tuck. Always put it seal side down so that the water will also hydrate the other side and glue it And how together. long can you keep lumpia like that? Put it in a container, straight to the freezer for around a week. Okay. That's what I would recommend. Next, tuna and cheese, Martin. We're at 180. We're still waiting for this to get up to 350. Tuna, mayo. So we'll be using a tablespoon and a half of tuna. Quick melt cheese. Next, let's do toyo and Oh, rice. yeah. Stop, stop, ow, stop, <laughs> ow. Oh, the oil is coming The oil is coming out, so this one might be tricky, but you never know. Okay, next, Martin. Ube, Ube cheese. and chaz. Okay, next is the halaya. It's freshly made. Cooked down for hours. <laughs> okay, Let the Ube it. cheese. Trying to look good. Um, flan, yes. Can I see this? What's without? the flan? <laughs> I'll let it. I'll let it pass. I'll let it pass. Piping bag. Yes. Or you can just spoon it in. This one to be annoying. I'm very annoyed. I'm clearly very annoyed. <laughs> you've achieved. You've achieved your goal. Ready, let's start with I'll the easy ones. Two. Let's go get in these go. This is really just for our personal ulam. Tuna cheese? These are tuna cheese, right? Yes. Answer me! Yes! Who do you think I'm talking to? <laughs> Them! But they're not supposed to be here. Oh, they're yeah, invisible yeah. in the production world. What does ko stand for? Helping you when you need <laughs> help. I have space for Ooh. I have space. I have space for one. Dole, dole. It's gonna be like Russian roulette, huh? Because I have no. no idea which is which anymore. Okay, which is which, Martin? I don't know. Oh wait, the durian. Okay, oil yeah. is getting really hot. Let's go, let's go. Add more, Naman. What kind of durian is that? Let's go, let's go. Yes. I'm just breathing through my mouth right now. <laughs> you did this in a hurry. Look what's happening to it. See, because of your hatred of the food. Fine. It's breaking up. It's lumpia time. You choose, I chop. Chop, 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 chop. Oh. Tuna? No, it's the... Flan. Bait. Yeah. Shit, we store dessert. It's a durian. Pala <laughs> Round one. See, it's Flan. Good. Approved. If you did that from here, then Turan style with some caramelized sugar. I think that'd be a really good dish. You wanna, should we break it like a heart? Save the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Come on. Yeah. If it's another flan, we don't need to eat it. Oh, it's two now. Mm. Mm. Round two. Tuna cheese. Still good. If you guys haven't tried it, I think it actually could work. How would you improve that? Maybe like chives? Yeah, some green green onions. Chives or maybe some red onions or something? Well. Well, we know what this is. Surprise, Doria. <laughs> But for me, this is one of my favorites. A really stuffed, properly stuffed, full vegetable lumpia. Shut up. And it just feels meaty without needing meat, right? Right. You can kind of tell what that is. I feel like that's yeah. ube cheese. Ube cheese. Ube cheese. I like it. Yeah. Right. Maybe slightly saltier. Oh yeah. To have a bit more balance. And I wouldn't be against the halaya bean chunky. So you're more you're saying more cheese. Yeah. We're left with four pieces, Martin. I need water. What have water. we have what haven't we broken into yet? To your rice, rice, which I'm pretty sure is this one. I'm telling you. It's interesting. There is something here. If you develop this properly, the the rice doesn't get oily. But the idea of stuffing something 
stuffing rice with something and maybe some eggs. I think this would work really well. Because it's super crunchy. It's a very restaurant thing. Full. At this point, we are left with two durian or two ah, No, now it's no, a no, mystery. I, I, I really don't know what it is. I threw the other one. You got the bigger one. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Pure, unadulterated, sexy, pungent, smoky durian. Do we get the one that tastes like gasoline or do we want the one that's really sweet, flavorful? It's stopping me. It's like I keep smelling it before you eat it. I don't know what else. <laughs> Just eat it. Just do it. You're not the spit this, huh? Okay, ready? One, two, three. No. <laughs> it's coming out of my nose like a waterfall. Ooh, I feel like a fire drip. Why do you hate Fire me? breather. <laughs> The flavor is not bad. Let's be honest, because there's a lot of people who like durian. <laughs> the flavor is not bad. It's just it overtakes everything. It's just here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think for people who really like durian, this could yeah. be a really cool way of cooking it. Maybe you can even add some brown sugar there, get some caramelization. You just take another bite from the people of the internet. No. <laughs> Do it. Just one more. So guys, none of these recipes were actually. Serious? Yeah. I mean, you can use definitely use the lumpia wrapper recipe. You can use the techniques that we use in terms of how to roll things. Um, the toge one was actually really good, but there are more interesting ways of doing lumpia. We are actually going to be doing a part two lumpia video where this was more fun, but we'll do one where we focus more on kind of like making intricate lumpias that might be really cool to serve at a party or something. Some of the ideas here are good. I think they just need a bit more refinement, uh -huh. a bit more time on the paper, and then we can figure something cool out. Still there. <laughs> I can still smell it. It's like perfume. Ah. Never goes away.